Good day everyone, this is me, Teacher Kim from Teacher Kim channel, okay? So for today's video or for today's uh, tutorial, I am going to teach you in how to register and create a my.sss member account in the SSS website, okay? So we are going to create uh, a member account in the SSS website, okay? So what we're going to do now is um, to go to www.sss.gov.ph okay and click enter okay so the purpose of this video is for uh for you to understand and know and how to um create a member account in the sss website in order for you to check your contribution in sss if uh, binabayaran ba ni, uh, ni employer yung SSS ninyo? Okay? If yung deduction ba ay napupunta sa uh, or napupunta talaga sa SSS. Okay? So, you can check your contribution. So, before you can check, let's have first this uh, tutorial. So, let's have first creating your account or your member account in the sss website okay so we are now in this site the sss.gov.ph so you will be directed in this one so what are you going to do is to click i'm not a robot okay just click check and after that one you are tasked to select all squares with bicycles so if there are none click skip so i think merong isa so we can click next and next one we have here traffic lights okay so what we're going to do is to click all the boxes or all the squares that we can find uh, we can find the traffic lights okay next one we need to click verify okay so after that one we will click submit okay so assuming that uh, you don't have a member account in the sss website okay so what we're going to do now is to click member okay member under portal so we have here member okay so since uh we are a member in sss okay so what are you going to do now is to click not yet registered in my sss or my dot sss or in sss online since wala pa tayong user id at saka password so all we need to do is to click not yet registered in my dot sss or sss online okay so we will click this one okay so wait for a while so nagloading siya okay so after that one we need to read the reminders okay so we have here the reminders okay so we have here uh, the reminders okay so after that one after you read the reminders okay so you will click uh, i certify that i have read and understand uh, understood the foregoing reminders on sss web registration so again after you've read the uh, reminders so all you need to do is to click this one this box that states that you certify that you have read and understood the foregoing reminders on sss web registration okay so we will click this third one after you certify you are going to click proceed okay so after you proceed okay so you will be directed with this um with this site okay so we have here online member user id registration okay so all you need to do is to supply the following information as reported to the social security system okay first one we are going to uh, fill out the required fields okay first one we have here crn and sss or crn or sss number rather okay so let's um fill out the sss number okay so we have here this one okay next one um we need to fill out the email address okay so make it sure that uh, your email address is active okay para uh whatever email na isisend sa yun ni sss uh marie receive ninyo kaagad okay so we need to confirm our email address okay 
Next one, preferred user ID. So, merong example si SSS dito. So, what you're going to do is to follow. Okay? So, you can uh, choose your name, underscore, uh, your uh, last name, and number. Okay? So, we have here, uh, you can have um, big letter of your first, or big letter of the first letter of your first name and small letter na. Okay? Next one, underscore, then big letter of your first letter of your last name and small letters na yung iba. And you can choose other numbers. Okay? So, we need to confirm our preferred user ID. Okay? So, I think uh, not available. So, we can uh, choose other. Okay? So, other number. Okay? Take note that um, take note that uh, if ever uh, you are reminded by the SSS na uh, yung user ID is not available, so therefore you can uh, choose other one, okay, na available, okay? So we have here, um, next one, your surname or your last name. So make it sure na tama yung last name ninyo, okay? Tama yung um, binigay ninyo. Okay, next one, your uh, suffix if you have, and your ne next one, your date of birth. Okay, so just click this one, and next one will be your address. Okay, since I am not living in subdivision, so I will put na lang the address in the first box. Okay, so it's up to you kung saan yung ilalagay yung address niyo. Okay, then after that one, See if you are living in Metro Manila, so you can click Metro Manila. But if you are living in province, you can click province. Okay? Next one, we have here. Kung saan, uh, kung saan province kayo, uh, makikita nyo lahat dyan. Okay? Next one, you select uh, city or municipality. Okay? So after that one, you select your barangay. And make it sure na na-select you, uh, na select nyo yung foreign mailing address. Okay? You select your country. Okay? We have here Philippines. Okay, your address. And okay, this res registration preference, um, it's uh, it is somehow uh, a verification if meron talaga kayong account or member uh, account sa uh, SSS or Social Security System. Okay, so you can choose uh, you can choose um, either a savings account number or Citibank cash card, UBP quick card, or UMID ATM savings account number that are registered in your SSS. Okay? Next one, you can also choose mobile number registered in SSS. Okay? And if ever you meron kayong humid card, you can uh, select humid card, okay? So, we have here, um, next one, employer ID number, household employer ID number. Or next one, uh, you can select paid payment reference number or payment receipt transaction number. So, if ever meron kayong uh, payment receipt transaction number, you can use that one. Okay, next one, date of, you can also choose date of last loan, transaction number shown in your personal record, or unified mul uh, multipurpose ID application, your E1 to E6. Okay, or you can uh, select um, check number of any monthly pension, or if ever uh, you are already retired. Okay, so you can... Uh, select a check number of any monthly pension okay okay so let's check this one one by one so if ever um if ever you select the savings account okay so if ever you are going to select your savings account okay so we have here you are tasked to uh, encode the savings account number or Citibank cash card, UBP quick card, you made ATM savings account number you enrolled in SSS. Uh, to view, click a show hidden uh, hidden entry. Okay, this one. Okay, so you can have this one. Okay, so if ever you are going to select the mobile number registered in SSS, all you need to do is to type the number that is registered in SSS. Yung number na ginamit ninyo sa SSS. Okay? 
if ever you are going to select your humid card okay so all you need to do is to encode your six digit humid card pin or mother's maiden name reported in your uh, humid card application as applicable then answer the captcha click the box before i accept the term of service and click submit okay so next one you can also choose employer id number okay so we have your employer id number all you need to do is to encode the employer ID number or household employer ID number of any of your current or previous employer. So if ever um yung nagbabayad sa yo is uh, or my previous employer ka, therefore you can uh, use that one or your current employer ID number. Okay? So ganyan lang siya. But if ever you are going to select paid payment reference number, all you need to do is to encode the paid payment reference number or SBR number, payment receipt transaction number of any of your contribution payment. Okay? Then answer the CAPTCHA, click the box before I accept the terms of service and click submit. Okay? So, ganyan lang siya. Kadali. Okay, next one, uh, if ever hindi kayo, uh, wala kayong paid payment reference number, you can select your date of uh, last loan. Okay, so if ever my loan day is SSS uh, or nagka-loan day is SSS, you can uh, choose that one. Okay, so all you need to do is to encode the date of last loan, then answer the CAPTCHA, click the box before I accept the terms of services. Okay, uh, the I am not a robot. Okay, next one and click submit. Okay, so if ever mer uh, hindi kayo nag-loan, you can also select transaction number shown in your uh, personal record or uh, unified uh, ID number, okay? So you can encode the uh, transaction number shown in your personal record or unified multipurpose ID application, the E1 to E6. For those who uh, applied online for SSS number from December 10, 2020 onwards, so hindi uh, siya applicable sa lahat. Since uh, nagsabi si SSS na it's only applicable for those who applied online for SS number from December 10, 2020 onwards. Okay? Then, after that one, uh, you, you will click I'm not a robot to captcha here um, before I accept the terms of service and click submit. But if ever, uh, wala kayo dito, you can use the uh, check number of any monthly pension of retire. Okay, so take note that you need to encode the check number of any monthly pension of retire or disability pensioner who is receiving the pension benefit through check. Okay, yung my checky. Uh, check it. Then, after that one, you will click answer the CAPTCHA, click the box before I accept the terms of service, and click submit. Okay? So, in my case, I will only use mobile number registered in SSS since I think mas madali siya. So, what, I, what I'm going to do is to encode the number, uh, my number that is registered in SSS. Then, after th that one, I will click I am not a robot. Okay, pag may check na yan, we will click I accept the terms of service, then click submit. Okay? So, after that one, uh, you will be reminded by SSS that this action will send the supplied information to SSS. Do you want to continue? Uh, just click OK. Okay? So, after that one, after you click OK, then... After you click OK, you will be, uh, you will receive an email. Okay, take note that you will receive an email na yung email na ginamit ninyo sa uh, pag-register niyan. Okay, so what are you going to do now is to go to, uh, is to go to um, our email na naka-registered sa SSS natin. Okay? So, after that one, we will go to our Gmail account. Okay? So, we will go to our Gmail account and after that one, okay, make it sure, uh, make it sure na tama yung pag, um, na tama yung uh, in-encode ninyo sa uh, email ninyo kanina. 
Okay? And encode ninyo sa SSS ninyo kanina. Okay? Sa pag-registered para maka-receive kayo nito. Okay? So, we have here their uh, Miss or Mr. Sarah Nilo. Thank you for registering in the SSS website. Okay? So, after that one, you need to click please activate your SSS member account and provide your preferred password by clicking here. Okay? So, Okay, so since uh, na-registered ko na siya, uh, na-registered ko na siya, so ito na yung lalabas once I click those, uh, once I click this one. So ito na yung uh, lalabas. Okay, so we regret to inform you that re your registration is no longer accessible. So kindly try to register again to SSS website. Okay, so if ever hindi pa, na uh, hindi pa, and you na click yun. So, ang lalabas dito is uh, you are tasked to give the last six digit of your SSS number. So, after you input your last six digits of your SSS number, so you will be directed to uh, create password, okay? Or create new password. So, what you're going to do is to uh, go to um, or to create your own password, okay? Then after that one, you will click submit, okay? So after new, maka create ng new password, therefore you can already log in na, okay? So since uh, meron na tayong uh, account, so what we're going to do now is to log in and check our SSS if ever talaga bang hinuhulugan ng employer, okay? So what we're going to do is to use your user ID na uh, binigay sa'yo ng SSS. Okay, then uh, your password. Okay, so make it sure na yung password ninyo is tama. Okay, then click the CAPTCHA. I am, I'm not a robot. Then once na-check na yan siya, just click submit. Okay. So I think mali yung password na ginamit ko. So let me check. Nakalimutan ko kasi. Okay. So wait for a while. Okay, so wait for a while. Okay, so, ito na siya. Okay, so what you're going to do is, uh, kindly update your contact information. So, please uh, click here. So, once you click this one, um, what you're going to do is uh, to check if meron ba kayong dapat i-update. So, for example, in my case, uh, in-update ko lang yung uh, phone number ko. Okay, so, pag i-click niyan, yan, you can update your... Um, information. Okay, so after that one, um, after nyo ng ma-update, you can click inquiry. So, for example, gusto nyo um, mat, uh, makita yung contribution ninyo. If talaga bang hinulugan ng employer. So, what you're going to do is to click contribution. Okay. So, wait, wait for a while since naglo-load siya. Okay, wait for a while since may na yung internet namin. Okay, so once uh, maklik nyo yung in, uh, inquiry, then contribution, you will be directed with this one. So, in my case, uh, talagang hinuhulugan ng employer yung SSS ko. Okay? So, ganyan lang kadali. Okay, next one, you can also, for example, nag-loan kayo. Uh, you can also check your loans info. Next one, uh, your reference number inquiry, the sickness, uh, sickness or maternity and your benefits okay next one uh, you can also download the app of SSS okay pwede nyo nang i-download yung uh, app na uh, I'm hoping that uh, this video helped you a lot so just comment below if you have some questions okay or you can message me privately by the use of my email account so ilalagay ko siya sa description box okay so thank you so much for listening so see you again next time for another discussion again or another tutorials so again it's me teacher kim from teacher kim channel see you again next time bye